Well, the market's remarkable ride continues as the Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ all reach new all-time high points. In fact, the Dow and the S&P up for the sixth straight week. Now let's talk about what's going on because beneath the surface it's even more impressive with the breath. NASDAQ had 1,700 winners versus 1,100 losers. 262 new companies, uh, companies hit new highs, only 43 new lows. Over at the New York Stock Exchange, almost 1,800 winners versus 1,100 losers. 253 stocks hit new all-time highs, only four hit lows. Your winning sectors today, well, financials, remember, I pointed them out early in the session, early in the week, rather, and talked about the possibility of big breakouts from names like Goldman and Morgan Stanley. Well, they did it. In fact, the sector itself hit a 10-year high. Now, if it's going to retest its all-time high, that means it's got another room for another 16% rally to the upside. My favorite two sectors rocked again today. Industrials were led by Dover. Here's the funny thing. Uh, my son worked for me this summer, and I recommended the stock to my subscribers, and now he tells me he sees it every time he gets in an elevator. Money-making opportunities are always around us. Materials were winners again. Uh, again, I mentioned a lot on this show and other times. Mary, uh, Martin Marietta Materials, rebuilding this country, you want to invest in that. As jaw-dropping as the rally has been, investors and would-be investors, because a lot of you guys are still sitting on the fence, you need to understand the fundamental underpinnings because that's what really justifies this rally. And the best case for that, in my mind, is Caterpillar. Shares of the earth-moving equipment maker are up 42% this year. Most of it, though, since May when Merrill Lynch put a buy on this stock, they cited a major ramp-up in their mining business. But there have been several rating increases since. Consequently, your consensus earnings for next year has soared from $5.41 to $6.69, or 24% just in the last three months. And that might be too low. The most recent upgrade from UBS just last month cited a reacceleration of U.S. construction for raising its target to the stock from 140 from 116. And they actually see earnings at $7.50. That's significantly above consensus. So here's the point I'm trying to make about this market. It has huge potentials, a lot more than tax cuts. And just because a stock or market is higher doesn't mean it's not justified or even under value. And I will admit, finding cheap stocks is hard. But these stocks, I'm telling you, there are a lot of them worth owning right now. If you want to ride the wave of economic resurgence, and I know you do, consider it. Meanwhile, have a great weekend as you count your money.